Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. We will review so many mid-size, large-size electric cars, but the small EVs are getting more popular in the market. Today we have here, it's called Wulin Air EV, the latest model from Wulin. The slogan of Wulin is Wulin makes what people need. Therefore, they've made a series of small EVs like uh, the Wulin Hongguan Mini EV and the Nano EV at a very affordable price. The Mini EV is selling around $5,000 in the market, which is a major contribution to the sales of Wulin EVs. Very surprisingly, they outsell other EV brands like Tesla and BYD. It has become the world's first EV company reached 1 million sales. The Air EV is based on its global small electric vehicle platform, with selling price starts from around $10,000. That's why it was one of the operational vehicles used for a G20, the Bali Summit, in 2022. There were two variants for this car. You will got a two-seat version and a four-seat version. Both of them could reach 300 kilometers, the CLTC range. Uh, but the battery is not very uh, big. It has a uh, 28.4 kilowatt hour battery. Probably it's the smallest battery pack we've uh, ever driven. As we've uh, uh, filmed so many uh, large battery pack in this channel, like a 100 kilowatt hour battery with a CLTC range 600 and 700 kilometers. But if you can see the, it's a battery pack and the range is actually is quite efficient EV. In terms of the design, I think it has become more refined if we compare with the Mini EV. The overall feeling of this car is quite tiny and square. Uh, you've got this lighting up strip cross over the front face here. And uh, even this logo here, it lights up. Uh, it definitely looks cooler with those uh, lights. And the right behind this logo, you've got the fast charging port and the slow charging port. Yeah, finally, they add the fast charging on this car. Uh, as a result, 3% to 80% in around 45 minutes. That's one of the biggest upgrades. Yeah, I like it. The design on this side is quite simple as well. It's not a very long car. The length of this car is only uh, 2.9 meters, uh, less than 3 meters but it's longer than the two seats version that is 2.6 meters the way we're going to tell people which one is the four seats version is by this tiny square window and uh, the height of this car is around 1.63 meters and the width of this car is 1.5 meters now you guys can imagine how tiny it is and speaking of this car everything is about uh, tiny small even the wheel here, we will go to this tiny wheel. It is a 12 inch wheel here. At the back, you will even go to this uh, little uh, loop spoiler and uh, this lighting up uh, strip tail lights. All right, let's take a look at the chunk space. Oh, it's, it's, it's not a very high car here. And uh, we will go to this very tiny the chunk storage part here. But the good thing is, we've been able to fold them. The second row seat, and then you will get more storage. It claims by Wulin, uh, with the second row seat fold down, you will be able to get 704 liters. Another good design I want to talk is we've been able to choose the fold down on this side or that side. Uh, so we can fit in three people there, and this side we can use uh, for putting more uh, luggage. As a small car, I think it's very suitable for city driving and I think especially good for a new girl driver. So today I invite my cousin Sarah to join us. She is a fresh graduate from uni. Hey Sarah. Hey. How are you doing? I'm fine. It's nice to be here with you today. Hi guys, nice to see you. So Sarah, I'm be curious about how girl think about this car. Mm. Uh, could you share with us your first impression from the girl perspective? The overall feel of this car is small and also adorable. And my first feeling was like a little kitty. I love it. I think I like this part. This part 
look like an Angry Birds last game. You yeah, know? I know. I played a lot. Yeah, mm. I think the design of the lights give me a feeling, give me a sense of the technology. Yeah, definitely. I uh, like this part. It's more yeah. defined than the mini EV. Yeah. All right. So now let's uh, move on to the side design. Okay. The window have a great view. Also, I can deal with my mess here. It's look like a mirror. I love it. Come on, stop posturing yourself oh. in front of the glass. Okay, All right. Let's okay. move on to the back side. Yeah. I have suggestion. If they could add more color line in back of the design, maybe more aesthetic, you know? Yeah, it definitely brings up more uh, stereo sense feelings. Yeah. But it's a affordable car. Maybe now let's move on to the interior. Okay. All right, guys, now we are inside the car. The car design is pretty simple, isn't it? So yeah. how do you feel about the interior design? Firstly, I think the height of the seat it's perfect for me because I'm a little girl. Yeah, I can yeah. see <laughs> the the driver's vision is quite it's quite high. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it it gives me some kind of SUV feelings because the dash pad is is at a low position. I think the interior design is simple. Yeah, it's simple, minimalistic. Yeah. But that's okay. I can DIY. Yeah, you can put uh, lots of uh, decorations, girl yeah. things there. But yeah, that's right. Yeah. And I like the Serenus Road here because if I can't open my door and I can use the passenger side. Uh, yeah, that's uh, one of the benefits yeah. it brings up because sometimes maybe uh, the car is parking in a very narrow parking yeah. spot. So you couldn't open that side. And then you can just uh, go straight from this side and open the door. And then just get off the car. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah. Yeah. But there is one thing that uh, comes to my mind. My yeah. Is this part. Actually, if you are uh, doing uh, the acceleration, sometimes if you forgot to oh. press the brake, I can just do it for you. Oh, yeah. But that's uh, also one of the drawbacks of this yeah. car because, <laughs> you know, if you have your, like, uh, uh, the keys, if you have your keys sitting here, you've got a two spoke steering wheel. Yeah. How do you feel? I think it's soft. Soft feels alright. Yeah. Yeah, and then you've got these physical buttons here. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, sometimes uh, as a, you are a new driver, you definitely don't want to like touch here. Yeah, that's because right. Because it's uh, dangerous for a new driver. So that's, I think, that's uh, right. physical button is good for new drivers. The storage part here, we've got yeah. this one. Yeah. I think this one can uh, put in the wallet here as well. And, and the, the key. Yeah, the key. No, no, for the key, you can put in here. Oh! <laughs> yeah, you got two of them. And oh. then you got the USB ports. I think two USB ports right on this part. Yeah. And this little storage pocket, you can put in the cars. Oh, mask? Yeah, put in there. And the, also down below, the last side. A good design I like is this part. You can put yeah. in, actually, you can put your mobile phone over that side. That's right. Yeah, and the down below this part, you guys can see. And uh, you've got storage on this position as well. Yeah, and another part is down below here. And you've got this little storage. Mm. Yeah, the storage here, a lot of parts you can put in the little things, but yeah. you couldn't fit in like too much things. If mm. you want to put your bag in the, in the car, you probably need to throw it to the back. Sarah, I think yeah. you must be liking the, this screen here. It is a two, 10.25 inch screen and yeah. then check this, this little thing. Wow, <laughs> it's so cute. It just touches. Yeah. Wow, it's Yeah, it touches and it gives you different emojis. Yeah. yeah. It's very lovely, isn't it? And uh, you will got all these apps like navigation. Oh. Yeah, navigation apps. Yeah. And also music apps and you will got the radio the AC control. Yeah. And uh, phone call and all these uh, things are there. There is a very good feature. I think, uh, Sarah, you will like it. It's wow. the voice commander. Yeah. You can I try it. it. Okay. 你好,小林. 在哪? Wow, that's cool. Yeah. You can do like other things as well. For example, if you can ask uh, Xiaoling to open uh, the window for you. Oh. 
。你好，小林，打开窗户。Wow, amazing! <laughs> I think it's a good feature, especially for the new drivers. Yeah. Because you get nervous when you're driving on the roads. Yeah, that's Definitely right. Definitely don't want to touch these kind of things on the screen. Okay, so and then below this part, yeah. you've got this physical AC control. Yeah. So physical. what do you think? You like uh, this physical design? Or you like do it on the screen? I like the physical design because it's more convenient. Yeah, especially when you're driving, right? Yeah. Okay, right, so now we are in the second road, and uh, my leg part is only have a one a face room, and uh, my head part is a less than one face room, maybe four, yeah, and around four fingers. Uh, I'm about 175 centimeters tall, and uh, my uh, leg support, mm, there is not too much leg support, and um, if leg could make it a little bit longer on this part, that would be nice. But it's a relative inexpensive car, what do you expect? So how do you feel, Sarah, sitting at the back? Mm, I think it's super for a technical like me. Yeah. It's definitely uh, not good for a long travel distance, but if you like just travel around a city in short distance, I think it's it's good for. Alright, guys, let's see what this tiny car is like to drive on the road. Uh, the driver's vision is quite good. I think it's because the sitting position of this car is quite high. Yeah, and uh, the power of this car has been improved. It has uh, 50 kilowatt the power output uh, with 140 newton meters of torque. So it gives you some kind of a confidence uh, when you do acceleration from 60 to uh, 90. And also there is a three modes we can choose on this car. Uh, eco mode and the standard mode and the sport mode. Uh, we can uh, switch uh, three of them by uh, pushing the button here. Yeah. And uh, these standard modes and the sport modes are differently. Uh, the accelerator will be more responsive. Yeah, like this, I can feel. Ooh. But uh, the acceleration give you uh, some kind of linear feelings, more like the gasoline car. Because I've been driven so many uh, three second or four second cars, uh, the acceleration for me is very mild. You won't feel too much. Yeah, like this. There is one thing I noticed here. The region braking force is not very strong and uh, every mode. And uh, this car, the maximum speed of this car is around uh, 100 km. So this car is more suitable for city driving. As a tiny, small city car, one of the benefits is uh, to find a parking spot. It's very easy to find a place to park your car without taking like a much space especially when we drive on some narrow streets and uh, the turning circle of this car is super tight around 4.3 meters yeah it's definitely good for you turning around in the corners as a tiny car one of the benefits is to find a parking spot in especially in some a narrow street or crowded street like this you guys see this a normal car definitely couldn't do like this. Now we just easy pack into here without much trouble. This car can reach some place that other large or mid-sized cars couldn't do, especially with this 360 camera. The flexibility is always the main topic of this car, like this. Uh, now we're driving through this very narrow road and it's very easy with this 360 view camera. Wow, that's the major benefit of the city car, small car. You can drive it without much trouble in the city. All right, Sarah. Yeah. You will be driving this car this afternoon for a while. Yeah. So how do you think about this car in terms of the driving performance? Yeah, mm, I think this car is easy to handle because this car it's very small, the tiny car, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's very easy to drive around the city because I'm new driver. I think the size, this size car is easy for me to handle. Mm -hmm. Just like 
if I want to park in my car. Right? Yeah. So, so it would be easy for you to do the reverse parking even, you know, with yeah. the 360, the bird's view camera. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so what other features you uh, like on this car or you hope they could improve in mm, future? Yeah, if they could add more autonomous driver features, I think it will be better, right? Yeah, definitely it will be better yeah. with more ability of the autonomous driving. But consider it's a price and you oh, can't right. expect it too much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right guys, after driving this car for a few days, it is definitely a very tiny and a small car, uh, which is very flexible to drive around the city. So the flexibility always the main topic of uh, the city cars. Yeah, so there was a few benefits for the small car for the, uh, the Wuling EV. This car, the Air EV, came with 300 kilometers of range. So I think if you just driving around the city, every week you just need to charge once a week. And also, there is a fast charging on this car that will be reduce your charging time. And the, the second, I think the driving cost of this car is very, very low. I've been driven in this car for a few days. The electricity consumption of this car per 100 kilometer is around 10 a kilowatt hour, I think that's quite efficient. And the third, it's also very good for the family second car. As uh, you have got a normal car or mid-size, large-size car for the long travel distance. And this car is perfect for city driving or short uh, travel distance. Yeah. yeah. Especially like for ch parents, they pick up the kids from the school. Yeah. All right, guys. So that's all for today's video. And uh, thanks for uh, watching today and thanks for Sarah joining us today. All right, see you guys next time. Bye bye.